most of us don't understand how big this update is. So model context protocol was just announced by Claude, which essentially enables you to connect to external data source. Now, before I actually get into this framework and how it works, let's talk about what model context is and why it's important in this context. So essentially model context is when, uh, when you're talking to AI models, for example, it can only talk about a limited set of things. When I say limited set of things, it's only going to take a look at its knowledge base and give you answers based on that. Unless you connect it with an external data source. Now this external data source could be internet. This external data source could be database, Google Drive, a PDF or a text file. The problem with the whole process is that it's kind of lengthy where you essentially have to take up a framework like Langchain and inside that framework you have to set up a vector store, you have to set up a vector database, you have to create embeddings and then fetch the data using retriever or break it down into different chunks. So there's a bunch of different things you need to do in that system in order to make that work. Now MCP promises to kind of either abstract all of that or make it way more simpler. The best part about this update is that it's open source and this is what Claude has done, right? So they're, they've open sourced this entire framework to an, a new standard for connecting AI assistants to the system where data lives. In very simple terms, it's actually the abstraction of the whole RAG process, which is essentially what most of us used in order to build applications that were giving real-time answers and more contextually relevant answers. As AI assistants gain mainstream adoption, the industry has invested heavily in model capabilities, achieving rapid advances in reasoning and quality. Yet the most sophisticated models are constrained by their isolation from data, trapped behind information silos and legacy systems. Every new data source requires its own custom implementation, making truly connected system difficult to scale. And this is true. So if you want to connect to a SQL database, it's completely different. And and let's say if you want to connect to more than one database like SQL, Postgres and a PDF, a text file, it's going to have all the different uh, adaptation or all the different code in order to fetch the data from these files. So MCP is addressing this challenge and it provides a universal open standard for connecting AI systems with data source, replacing fragmented system integrations with a single protocol. And this is huge because you can literally connect to any data source by just using one framework. So I'm assuming that they've done all the abstraction in the backend before they actually roll it out to us but the idea is that you don't have to do it anymore right so it's an open source standard that enables developers to build two-way secure communication this is also one of the big problems is that whatever you build is going to be uh, never 100% secure and you you'll have to do basic hygiene when it comes to security and this protocol kind of simplifies that so model context protocols uh, has specification and SDKs it has local MCP server support in cloud desktop apps and open source repository for MCP servers it's an adept at quickly becoming MCP server implementations. So basically Claude can build you these simple implementations very quickly and they've started support for some of the enterprise systems like Google Drive, Slack, GitHub, Git, Postgres and Puppeteer. So you can already start talking to this basic set of databases. Early adopters like Block and Apollo have integrated MCP into their systems while the development tools including Zed and Replete are working with the MCP to enhance their platforms, enabling AI agents to better retrieve information to further understand the context around a coding task and produce use more nuanced functional code. Again, you can read more about all of this, but uh, you can install pre-built MCP servers to Claude desktop app. Let's quickly take a look at this. I think I already have it. So I'm just going to explore this right now. I think I already have the app. So I'm going to try and see if I can explore this right now. I can see that this new option to import Google Drive, but let's see if I have the option to play around with the MCP things that they've just spoken about. So I'm going to go to feature preview and it looks like there are a bunch of these different tools. There's the analysis tool. All right, so this is not what I'm looking for. I don't find anything in the support here as well regarding MCP. This is new feature where I can connect Google Docs, but I'm not necessarily finding anything that talks about MCP. Let's go in settings. I have the option to connect my Google Drive, but um, I don't know if I want to do that right now. So at this point of time, I don't necessarily see MCP in here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to read a bit more to see if there's something I'm missing. Pre-built MCP server. So I'm, I'm assuming that's Google Drive, but maybe I'm I'm not on the team plan and that's why it's not enabling me to uh, and it just supports the team plan right now so i'm on the pro plan but i'm not on the team plan either way no issues let's take a look at the documentation here they have this entire documentation that that is located on model context protocol dot io and this basically talks about the protocol itself so you can build your own first server using python you can build it using typescript so i think i'm gonna play around with typescript for this one and then you can know more about the core architecture and stuff like 
like that. I just want to understand what are the components of MCP so that I understand this. So you can start with this in five minutes. It's a protocol that enables secure connections between host applications such as Claude and local services. So we will set up a SQL database, connect Claude desktop through it to it through MCP and query and analyze your data securely. So MCP is an open. Okay. This is the general architecture. So this is going to be the uh, Claude desktop app in this scenario. And then we have the MCP server A, which is going to refer to local resource A. And then there's going to be MCP server B, which is going to refer to local resource B. And then there's going to be MCP server C. So essentially what you can do is you can set up like three different or multiple different servers that connect to different hosts or resources in order to fetch the data. So MCP hosts are programs like Claude desktop app. MCP clients are protocol that maintain one-to-one -one connections with servers. So essentially this is what connects with, oh, okay. So this is the client which connects with the server and communicates with the host. And there are MCP servers, which are programs that each expose capabilities through standardized uh, protocol. Local resources could be database files and stuff like that. And network could be the ones where we interact with APIs. So we'll, we'll implement a simple database. Let's go ahead and do it now. We will require um, UV, Git and SQLite. I think I already have two of these things, but let's go ahead and open terminal and then install these two things. Again, this is the first time I'm doing this. So um, I'm sorry if you guys feel like this is too slow. Uh, just bear with me because I'm. this is the first time I'm trying this out as well. So I'm installing the uh, required libraries using Homebrew. And if you're on Windows, you, you can go ahead and uh, install these two items as well. I'm on Mac, so I'm doing it this way. The next step would be to create a simple SQLite database for testing. And I'm going to run this in the terminal. So let's go ahead and copy this. And let's just wait for uh, this to complete installation. So the thing about Homebrew is that every time you want to install new things, it automatically updates all the other things as well kind of takes some time but let's go ahead and now run this i'm going to create uh, the database i think i'll have to run it from here let's paste this in terminal i think i'm doing something wrong so i'll need to probably so i'll need to run this first and paste this here and then now i think i'll need to insert these things okay it looks like i'm doing something wrong so let me just uh, check with ai all right so the issue is that i already did create a table before this which was causing an issue so let's go ahead and run this command now and then you can see all the items that should be in our table are in our table now. The next step for us would be to actually uh, open this, which essentially basically will open this Claude desktop config.json where we will need to add small configuration, right? So let's go ahead and paste this and then let's see what it opens. All right, I'm going to start a new window and then I'm going to paste this command again. And you can see we've opened the Claude desktop config.json, which is inside of users, yash library application support, Claude, Claude desktop config.json and I'm going to copy this code and I'm going to paste it here. I'll need to change my username here. So I'm going to paste this here and I'm going to save it. There's an MCP server named SQLite. Launch it by doing this. All right. And I'm going to save this open terminal. I'm going to paste this here. Looks like something is happening because it's not throwing an error. So let's see how it works. And it looks like it's running. I'm going to go to let's verify everything is working. Try sending this prompt to Claude desktop. All right. So I'm going to open Claude desktop again again and start a new chat and I'm going to paste this here. So it's not working. Maybe I'm not on the team plan, but uh, let's try this again. I'm going to stop this and I'm going to run this again. So either ways, even if I'm not able to make it work, this is how you would typically make it work. So I'm, I did run the server again, but it looks like there's no message. I'm going to ask this to Claude. How do I know if my server is running? Open another terminal and try doing this. All right. So I'm going to open another terminal now and I'm going to paste this command. So it looks like it is running, uh, but I'm just going to quickly verify is does this mean we're running the server? I guess it's yes, but uh, it definitely is running the servers now, but it does not look like I can connect to my SQLite database just yet. Is it because I've not enabled certain features? I'm not hundred percent sure. Or maybe do I need to update this again? Not hundred percent sure at this point of time but either ways if you have access to the team's plan then it will be able to listen to the connected server and get the answers that you need now what is happening under the hood is that the cloud desktop connect to the configured mcp servers on startup when you ask about data cloud desktop identifies which mcp server can help negotiates capabilities through protocols and request data or action from the mcp server so cloud desktop will call the mcp server and it will get the available capabilities then send the query do a sqlite query 
uh, and then return the results and then formatted results are then returned to the desktop. This is essentially what you would do in a rag based workflow. And then there are more uh, options here where you can connect with PostgreSQL database and then file system if you would want. So super cool. I'm actually very, very excited to use this. I'm also going to try building a rag based chatbot based on this, but this is a new update and I hope you guys understood how it works. Thank you so much and have a great rest of the day.